Today we're going to take a close look at a 1967 Schwinn Slick Chick. Now the Slick Chick line of bike was made from 65 through 71 by Schwinn. And this was, um, they considered this a step up from the Fair Lady. This was more of the muscle bike of the, of the girls version, girls version of a muscle bike. So we're going to talk about this one. We're going to talk about parts on it, uh, mechanical workings on it, um, flaws on it. And we'll take it down, take it for a little ride. And this bike will be on eBay in February 2019. Okay, so we'll just start on all the parts. So this was a uh, October of 1967 Schwinn Slick Chick. Now all the all the parts have a have a 67 date code on them. And if, if you watch the video to the end, we'll have some still pictures showing where the bike was all taken apart and all the different all the different parts uh, verifying those date codes. Now all those date codes include the, uh, the axle has a 67 on it, the front fork has a 67 date code, the handlebars, the stem, the, uh, the crank on the inside has a 67 date code on it, even the Bendix brake arm on this one has a 67 uh, date code on it. So we, we've got a pure 67 all the way through. Um, it's got a couple of nice accessories. It's got these uh, streamers on it, and these, these are the original uh, streamers. These aren't aftermarket, and that's the same with this uh, Japanese-made original Schwinn Stingray mirror with the, with the race flag back on it. Really nice mirror, kind of nice accessories to go on this bike. And it's got some really nice uh, Schwinn pedals on it. So, I mean, everything's in great condition on this, including these tires. Which are, uh, which are the USA Schwinn West Wind on the front and, uh, and the Schwinn uh, Stingray Slick on the back, uh, white walls. Now the seat, the, the seat, the seat's not correct, but it's a really nice seat. This should have been, in 67, it would have been the, the white smooth seat with, those, uh, with the funny seat tabs that they did on the, on the girls' bikes. And that, that seat was long gone, so we replaced it with a, with a really nice uh, deep tough silver glow uh, Schwinn Stingray seat. That's a full size seat, original vinyl, really nice. So no no step back on, on seat quality on this one. Actually, right, so we're gonna look at the, this bike had a full mechanical restoration on it. We'll, we'll start with this back tire, back wheel. So that's a Bendix uh, USA. So this is an S2. That's what kind of made, one of the things made it unique about the um, the slick chip was they had an S2 on the back where most girls bikes had an S7 on the back. This one's in good working shape. And of course you get that free STP sticker uh, someone put on there years ago. On those, uh, that's a razor edge, uh, heavy duty, uh, correct 467 fenders on that bike. And then we're going to take a look at this front wheel. So this is a this is a S7 uh, front wheel with the Schwinn with the Schwinn scripted hub. And before we spin it, this this wheel's in good shape. It, it doesn't have a wobble. Now it's it's going to look like it does if you if you if we get a zoom in here. The the black on these original white walls it drops in over the bead for a while, then comes back off of it. So as this is spinning, it's going to make it look like like the wheel's got wobble. But that's all in the tire right there. And just the uh, imperfection on the on the white wall on these original tires. But spinning really good, everything's working really well on this bike. Um, so we'll take it down. Uh, we'll take it for a ride. Like I said, it's got the razor edge fenders on it. Got the wide eight hanger swim bars on it. A lot of these parts are the same parts used on the boys' bike. Um, you know, we got the uh, the S bolt on the seat post clamp. Got the uh, Q bolts on the uh, on the sissy bar. Uh, all the hardware was cleaned up. And so you got a really nice bike here. All right, we're gonna take it down and uh, we'll take it for a short little ride to show it's working. See you outside. All right, so we got it outside. Uh, before we ride, we'll just talk about some more accessories on this bike. So it's got the nice end caps on the on the kickstand and on the sissy bar, and then it's got the uh, cat eye uh, Japanese rear reflector on that bike. It's really nice touches on this bike. 
So I'm just going to ride it real quick and bring it down, come back, break it. So if you have any questions, uh, just email them. And uh, good luck on your bidding.